What's going on guys? Alex Muzikin here from Mr. Build It. Welcome back to another week in the workshop. Today we're reviewing one of the most popular toys in the market for the homeowner, the Ring Doorbell System. In this video we'll be covering likes, dislikes, installation, and real life user applications. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, right out of the gates, one of my first impressions on this product is Ring's attention to simplicity for the user experience when it comes to installation. They really took all the anxiety out of the works here. Right out of the box, you have the Ring itself, you have a user manual. After that, you have some hardware, a little selection of faceplates, depending on what kind of siding you have, any accent colors you want to accentuate. And then you have the bevels, the angles, uh, how you want your Ring to be pointed, depending if you have stairs or the doorbell is on the side of your house like mine is and then one of the cool thing is the kit even includes different kinds of screwdrivers and a masonry drill bit really close attention to detail now because different houses are built in different time periods ring water to ensure that there's sufficient power coming to the ring doorbell system itself so they include this little power pack it simply just wires into your existing doorbell inside of your house nine times out of ten it's like located ten feet above somewhere next to your door anyways and so what you do is you just wire right into it and it's pretty easy it's labeled exactly which wire goes where there's only two and then you should have enough power for your new doorbell all right, now that we're done with the power pack on the inside of the house, it's time to take this party to the outside of the house. One of the first steps, obviously, is to remove your old doorbell. Chances are it's painted over, stained, and the light that's supposed to light up probably doesn't work. So dispose of it in a way that you know you can't go back. Smash it. Now that you smashed it, now you can't go back when we're gonna install our new system. The simple solution here is you saw that my doorbell is located on the left side of my house, actually significantly to the left that I'm imagining I'm not gonna capture as much video footage as I would like. So they are nice enough to include a little side angle mounting plate. This will give me the angle that I would like to capture as much detail as I would need for any security system. Once you mount it straight into your siding, feed the wires through. One of the nice things, again, for details is they included a little pigtail system to kind of extend for allowing easier connection to your new ring doorbell system. Now you don't have to use these little pigtails, but they were nice enough to include it and it just made the connection so much easier. After ensuring everything is wired and mounted accordingly, you can now kind of customize and play with some of the colors. It comes with silver, but you can also change it to white, brown, and black. I went with black. I think it's a cool black contrasted tech color. And then all you do is slide it over and set the set screw right at the bottom and nobody will play with it. Installation is done. Now we got to connect it to our devices, find the app on your app store, download the app, create an account, and then under the faceplate, hit the discoverable button. Once the button's pressed, you can now go through the process of connecting it to your internet at home. Once the device connection is secured, you're all set. Just open your app and play with some of the features that the Ring app has to offer. Hey, Jack. What? What are you doing? Jack. What? Yeah. Are uh, you having fun? Yeah. All right. Thank you. A couple of things I really like about this Ring doorbell is number one, the realistic user applications where I don't have stairs, but I have an angled side doorbell really throws off the camera angle, but they thought of a mounting plate. Big thumbs up. Number two, what I love is the grid setup for the motion sensor. I could set the grid up in any customizable way, and when a Joe Schmo shows up on my lawn in the middle of the night, it could start recording, the lights will come on, and I can handle the situation. Now, what I don't like about the ring door system, well, my only real complaint, and that's probably with everything that's tech-related, is the connection sometimes. It's a little wonky. Now, that's not on the ring's fault, I think it's more on my fault, the provider that I'm using, the area that I'm living in. But be aware of that, that anything wireless, it's not gonna be perfect, and sometimes you might have issues. But you might not. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Guys, I am so thankful that you guys watched this video. If you like stuff like this, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you choose to do so. A video comes out every single week and we don't want you to miss a single one. Big thank you to Home Depot and Ring for partnering with us. We are so glad to have this relationship with you guys. Tune out this week. We'll see you guys next week. See ya. Bye.